so guys it's time to have some fun with this machine so let's go Hi guys, so today I have come to this exclusive Mojo showroom which is in Bangalore, Banaswadi to do a complete review of the 2017 Mojo VS4 model so let's get started and he is Mr. Farhan, the man behind this uh, Mojo tribe so Mr. Farhan can you please explain us what's the concept behind this Mojo tribe and how you started it so the Mojo tribe uh, is the group of Mojo riders uh, that's uh, you know it's created its own cult following now and we have dedicated the whole world to the Mojo tribe. Uh, we have a lot of trails that we conduct over the year. Uh, Northeast trail uh, around the mountains of Arunachal Pradesh that just got over a few days back. The mountain trails around Le Ladakh, jungle trails around Moody, Masanagudi. Island trail is something we are uh, we are trying this year, this will be at Andaman Islands and the desert trail around the deserts of uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat, which I have also been to personally. It was a wonderful experience, uh, you know, being with the like minded bikers uh, for about 10 to 15 days and just forget everything else and just keep riding. So that's a very strong part about the Mojo, uh, you know, the Mojo tribe. So can you please explain us the special features of this as I see this is the 2017 BS4 model. Yeah. So first you can explain the special features of this bike and how it's different from the other touring bikes. Sure. So uh, the Mojo is a very rugged uh, tourer. Mahindra is known for making very rugged SUVs and being rugged and uh, you know, having strong build quality has always been there in the DNA of Mahindra and this bike portrays the same DNA. Okay. Uh, it is arguably one of the best tourers in the country right now. Uh, it's a 300cc engine, H27 bhp of power and 30nm of torque which is the highest for a 300cc. Okay. And it's got a very strong mid-range which makes you, uh, you know, which makes touring very easy. It's got a strong mid-range punch. Equipment on the bike is really top-notch. Uh, it comes with the Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 tires which are one of the best street tires. So the road grip on that is brilliant. And in this 2017 model, do you have any changes in the brakes? Yeah, so a lot of people earlier said that the brakes were too progressive. Uh, it's not that it was bad, but you had to make an extra effort. You had to pull the lever in to stop it and it stopped beautifully. But now with lesser effort, with just a little bit of bite, it stops beautifully. It's got some updates in the brake pads and here now the master cylinder is different. It's a J. Juan master cylinder. Okay. So that makes a lot of difference in the braking. With just a little bit of bite, it stops brilliant. That's nice. The suspensions on these are the upside down forks, not the regular telescoping forks. So the advantage of this is the inner tube is closer to the front wheel. So the suspension travel is this way. So the okay. impact of the impact transfer onto the handlebar is much lesser. So okay. that, uh, you know, gives, uh, includes handling and takes the beating of the pot goes much better. Okay. And uh, many other bikes also have but they are too stiff. 
for example, the KTM. This is not too stiff, not too hard, just right for the, the right balance for touring. For the Indian condition. This is like custom built for Indian conditions. Okay. And the rear is a monoshock which is okay. also adjustable. Okay. It's got a liquid cooled engine and the cooling system on this is really good. These panels here on the side, they also direct the hot air away from radar slacks. So the heat management is very good. Okay. Not that it heats so much, but whenever it heats, the management is really good. Nice. And if the bike overheats, there is a very unique feature on this. Many other bikes, they will shut off. They overheat. Yeah, like the KTMs. Right. So this gets restricted to 5000 RPM. It goes into the limp home mode. So you can limp at 5000 RPM and reach wherever you are. Not that it occurs very often. It's happened to me only once in two years. Okay. Um, that was in very horrible traffic when I was stuck for four hours. So in extreme conditions. Yes, extreme conditions. Otherwise, or while touring, I've never encountered this. So that's a very nice feature. It's, uh, you know, first time in the segment that the feature is there. Oh, that's and, really uh, nice. The gearing is really good. It's got a six-speed gearbox. Uh, the first two gears are short, which makes your quick overtaking burst in the city really easy. Okay. And the rest of the gears are tall, which will help while you're touring. And what's the mileage you can expect from this? On an average, uh, about 30. Depends on the riding style and conditions. But there are people getting about 35, 40 or so on the highways. On okay. an average, 30 I would say. Oh, that's great. Conditions. And as this is a BS4 model, you won't have that uh, switch anymore. Yes, yes, we don't have the all headlight time. on and off switch. It's an all time running headlamp. Okay, and what's the on road price of this on in Bangalore? The price is uh, 2 lakh 21,000 okay. in Bangalore. Uh, okay. And uh, the warranty period of this bike? Standard warranty is for 2 years and 32,000 kilometers, but one can opt for an extended warranty just by paying a small amount of 1300 rupees and then you get a total warranty of 72,000 kilometers in 5 years. 5 years. Now that's a big warranty that itself says a lot, that says how much confidence we have on the product. Yeah. So 5 years and 72,000 kilometers, there's no other manufacturer that offers this sort of warranty on, in this segment at least. I think it's the first in this segment. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. Farhan, thank you for all the info. So it's time for me to go for a test drive. Sure. So let's go. So guys, it's time to have some fun with this machine. So let's go. Sound is pretty nice and uh, this test drive vehicle doesn't have a DB killer. So you can find the bike is pretty loud. So let's roll. Something about the clutch, the clutch is very smooth, just like my Duke slipper clutch, this is very smooth and even the gear shifts are very smooth, precise. As you saw, the acceleration is pretty good. The throttle response is nice. It's pretty linear. Unlike the Duke, which uh, kicks in suddenly, this doesn't give you that freaking power. Pretty linear. And even the brakes are nice. It has a good bite. I was. Uh, told that the earlier mojos were not that great with the brakes but this one it felt nice and even the suspension setup is nice it's not as stiff as the KTM which uh, where you can feel every bump but in this that's not the case it's not too stiff or it's not too soft uh, let's see how it accelerates now the city is pretty nice going through the traffic because as I've noticed the handlebar is pretty small compared to the Duke so maneuvering in the traffic is nice and easily you can touch three figures the acceleration is really nice pretty good and very nimble once you get used to the bike and also talking about the seat it's 
very nice, it's pretty soft, big and also the seating position, it's upright, it's nice the handlebar is pretty high gives a very good posture for riding and it's a very good bike for touring what I noticed is that it's pretty difficult to corner you know because of the long wheelbase so you have to get used to this as this is uh, focused more for touring and not for tracks and talking about the fuel capacity it's 21 liters so I think it's the biggest in its category even the mirrors are very nice the visibility is great pretty big also and even at low speeds there's no vibration as such I'm not feeling any kind of vibration in uh, my footrest or on the handlebars even when I ride the bike it's really nice well the horn is pretty loud After 5000 rpm, the real punch of the mojo can be felt. And this is a very good bike to maneuver in the city. It can be a very good city bike as well as a, a good tourer. And also, I'm not feeling any heat on my legs. The heat management is very nice on this bike. There's no problem with the heating issue. So let's have another acceleration test and let's see how it goes. really amazed with the power of the mojo I've heard many people saying that uh, it doesn't have adequate power or it's too linear but I feel it's more than enough for uh, city traffic as well as for touring I wish it had an ABS at least as an option for the bike of this category so the only thing that's missing in this bike is an ABS so if you get an ABS in this bike then it will be a complete package for our touring so let's head back to the showroom and I'll give you my final thoughts regarding this bike so talking about the bike I'm really satisfied with the ride quality starting with the tires, the Pirelli Rosso tires, and I think it does a fantastic job it's got a very good bite and also the brakes it's got a very good bite now I think it's been upgraded so you've got a very good feel and also I like this design, the twin light design of the Doom it gives a very good look and the main attraction of Mojo is this tank, the huge 21 liters tank and the engine is really really smooth it's very linear and Mahindra has done a fantastic job with the refinement and also talking about the gas shifts it's very precise very smooth and even the clutch is very smooth so I almost felt like a slipper clutch of my dupe I feel it is much more softer it's very smooth and talking about the seat it's a single piece seat very soft broad and 
the on road price it is around uh, 2 lakhs approximate so i think this gives a very good competition to the duke as well as the bullets i want to place this in between the duke and the bullet because uh, the bullets are famous for the comfort and the duke for their uh, power and here the mojo has the blend of both the comfort as well as power so if you have the budget of around 2 lakhs and if your motor is touring and not for track i think for track this is not the bike because in the corners it does struggle as you can see the silencer is bit low so while cornering it will touch so it's not for a track oriented if you are going for a touring then i will definitely recommend this bike so that's it from me guys thanks for watching this video and if you like it please do give the thumbs up and share it and if you have still not subscribed please do subscribe it because there are many more videos coming your way bharat mata ki jai thank you bye bye